Hi and welcome to the Tech Zone. My name is David. Today I will perform a speed test between Oppo Reno 10X and Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, both having top of the line CPUs. Oppo Reno 10X houses a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 octa core processor paired with 6GB RAM, while the Note 10 Plus uses an octa core Exynos 9825 processor paired with a whopping 12GB RAM. The speed test will be based on starting some web-based application and some games to see which phone is fastest in that regard, and then start in reverse order to check which one keeps the application alive in memory. I will also run Antutu and Geekbench performance analyzer so that we can get an overview of each device. And lastly I will do a boot time test. So let's check out which one is fastest. After closing all applications, I will launch Antutu, that is a graphic uh, performance analyzer. I will first let the program analyze the internals, and here you can see the differences between the CPUs and GPUs on these devices. So now we'll move on and uh, start the test. And uh, the test I will uh, fast forward because it's uh, yeah, not so interesting to see this uh, running in several minutes. So yeah, let's uh, move forward. If you like this video, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And uh, I would also appreciate very much if you would subscribe to the channel. So you can see here the Operino has a uh, small advantage uh, so far. And uh, yeah, you can see uh, it's a close call, of course. Uh, they're both fast CPUs. So the Operino is finished and uh, the Note uh, 10 Plus uh, is still not ready, still at 96% and will probably finish very soon. So uh, you can see uh, now it's uh, finished, the Note 10 also. So you can see the difference in the scores and I think that's about 4% faster for the Operino 10X. You can see that the Operino 10X wins in the CPU department and user experience department. On the other hand, uh, the Note 10 Plus wins in the GPU department and also in the memory department because the memory is faster, much faster on the Note 10 Plus. So let's close the applications and uh, start Geekbench and see how that performs on these devices. It's strange, uh, the Operino, sometimes the one application is uh, duplicate or it uh, yeah, lives its own life and you can't just close it with uh, the, t the touch on the X. So, starting Geekbench and uh, this will be interesting also. Yeah, the Note 10 Plus was uh, faster. And you can see on uh, the single core, uh, the Note 10 Plus uh, wins with uh, quite some margin. But on the other hand, on the multi-core test, uh, the, the Oporino was uh, well ahead of the Note 10 Plus. So, oh, checking out the device information here, you can see the clock speeds of, on the CPU. And uh, you can see here that uh, the it's a higher clock speed uh, on uh, one of the cores on the Operino that has 2.8 gigahertz, uh, while the Note 10 Plus has uh, 2.7 uh, gigahertz. What else? Uh, yeah, you can see uh, the, the available memory, and uh, that's a big difference, of course, a huge difference. But uh, I think we move on now to the, the test of the applications. So first remove uh, all open applications and uh, yeah, you can see I have already uh, closed uh, the application on the Oppo. So let's start with the uh, web-based applications and then move on to some games. And uh, that will be it. After that I will do a boot test of uh, both devices. So. Uh, Moving uh, 
around these applications. I will speed it up. Stopping the fast forwarding here just to check uh, the Wi-Fi connection. And uh, my connection is uh, 250 gigabit uh, down speed and 100 gigabit up speed. So starting this, you can see uh, the Oporino. My room is located some walls and uh, maybe 10 meters from the Wi-Fi router. So it, uh, that's why the, the speed is lower than it could have been. You can see the down speed is uh, touching the 100 gigabit uh, mark. And that's uh, quite impressive uh, on this uh, distance. So let's check out uh, Note 10 Plus. You can see it's um, hovering around 50 gigabits uh, download speed. And you can see here the very inconsistent uh, testing the, the upload, upload uh, speed. And you can see it's a very big difference. It's almost half the speed of the Operino. I don't really know what that can, uh, if it's just so much better or if it's uh, something else that is uh, going on here. So let's continue with the rest of the applications. I'm very, very curious about your thoughts, uh, your thoughts about these two devices. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the Bezel-less design on the Oporino versus the boxier design on the Note 10 Plus and the punch-out for the camera? I think uh, it's very nice to don't have any interference in the screen, so I, I, I go for the Oporino in this case, but um, otherwise uh, the Boxer design is uh, ad an advantage when you use an S Pen because you have a, a totally rectangular screen and uh, that, that makes it uh, easier to utilize the screen. But um, please inform me what you think and uh, please subscribe to the channel, it will really really help me a lot. So yeah, let's move on with this uh, test. So at this stage you can see the Operino 10X uh, has a lead with the 6 uh, against 2 application opened faster. But um, I guess this will change quite a bit in the reverse order, because here it's all about keeping the application in memory. And you can see so far uh, the Samsung Note 10 Plus has uh, already an uh, advantage in this uh, in this contest. It all applications uh, load faster. So that's amazing how much, uh, how much uh, uh, larger RAM can do in this uh, kind of uh, test. But I don't know how, how, how important is it really? Because how, how often do we have uh, 15 applications that you switch between? Uh, not, not often, not uh, in my case at least. So, time for the last uh, test. It's a boot time uh, test and see which uh, phone that is uh, fastest. I noticed from day to day uh, using the Operino that uh, when I restarted it, it starts up very, very quick. And I, I wonder if, that, uh, if that's just the software optimi optimization of, or if it is... Um, yeah, I don't really know. Uh, if you have ideas uh, how this can be, uh, please uh, uh, inform me in the comment section below. So this is in real time, it's uh, not fast forward in any way. So you can see the Operin is already finished and that's <laughs> quite amazing because uh, the Samsung as you can see is not, not re ready yet. So uh, Note 10 is also finished and uh, this uh, completes the test. So what do you think about this? Is start time most important or keeping the application alive in memory more important? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. I will make some more videos comparing these two devices and would like to hear what you prefer in the comments. 
please support the channel. It will really help me a lot by sub hitting that subscribe button. Thanks all for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.